Hey guys, it's Zeta here, and uh, today I'm going to be covering the character generator. Probably be a quick little video, so let's get into it. So the generator can be found under your tools in your client editor folder. Um, the way it works is you have bodies, which you have can have either male or female or unisex. Uh, Male and female is, you know, as it states, male and female and unisex is all of them, which is uh, where you'll find all of the standard intersect bases. And then you have everything else, such as, you know, boots, eyes, you know, all your armor and everything else, your accessories. Um, they all have their own, you know, folders for male and female. And, um, it comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, I believe everything in this generator I created, or at least most of it I did. Um, not the bodies per se, but the armors and everything else. And it took a lot of work. And uh, it's really handy. So let's load it up. Start out, you have you know um, your, your image over here. You can zoom. We're gonna leave it right here. Um, you have your male, your female. You know, if you click female, you can load up all the female uh, options in the folders, and as well as the unisex, I believe. You can choose your background color. You can do a transparent or choose a color. Um, if you want, you have all your layers right here: your body, eyes, everything. This is um, your lower layers and your accessories. You have your hue that you can change, your alpha that you can change. You can make items, you know, uh, transparent if you want. Even a little cool little randomized button. So, you know, pretty simple. Choose a base. You know, there's a blink thing, or a blink one here too. You could do avian, you know, whichever. We're just going to go with the person. You can choose some eyes, which I guess I haven't made any. Uh, lots of hair. Hair is set by male or female, I guess. So we're just going to go with, you know, that. No facial hair. Got lots of headwear. You know, all kinds of cool stuff in here. Yeah, your uh, shirts. Sure, it's like, you know, your upper part right here. Armors and whatnot. You can choose custom shoulders. All kinds of things. You got your gloves, which you know, only a few. Your pants. Um, you can choose to have your shirt tucked into your pants. If you do that, it basically puts the pants image above the shirt image, and then you can choose. Uh, and if you also Sorry, if you have your shirt tucked into pants, you can also select a waist option. And, you know, I mean, it'll still kind of show, but then the shirt will also go over your waist if you don't have it selected. Then you can also choose your boots. And if you do pants tucked into boots, your boots will show over the pants, like so. And, um, so... Once you have something you're happy with, you can hit export. This will pull up this. Um, just find wherever you're keeping your sprites and save it there under whatever name you want. And the next time you load up your editor, this will be an available sprite. And then, you know, alternatively, you can also just randomize. And, um, oh, yes. These right here, if you click these boxes, like say, uh, let's take off the hair. Um, you know, here, let's just start over real quick. Okay. So, we're going to go with, I don't know, we're going to go with this green bandana. Well, we got this green bandana. Say we want to make it our own custom shade of blue. You can go do this, 
I don't know, give it some, maybe something like that, why not? It'll kind of change it, you know, and, uh, so you can experiment with that if you want. You can always click back to white, and it goes back to the original color. So that's cool. And then over here, you can select things to be locked. And when you do that, um, you can hit random, and it won't change the things you have over here. Well, it's not supposed to. Seems like there must be a bug with this or something. But yeah, so that's the character generator. Not a whole lot to it, but it's very useful. Um, one thing that I think is would be really useful to many is if um, let's see here, you can make paper dolls with it. So you could always just select some sort of headwear here. Um, let's see here. Because you can layer things, we're going to go with this helmet, and then we can go to accessory. And if you go to accessory, this will always appear over whatever image is being displayed here. So we can, I don't know, let's see here, let's find a crown. We get to edit this in a, a sense. You know, add something more to it, make it a, another item, export it to our paper dolls. Do the same with armors. Let's see here, um, shirt. Let's go with blue jumpsuit for now. Give it some shoulders. Change the glove color. Maybe change the pants. Keep the pants. I don't know. Uh, give it something like this, maybe. You know, you could always export that into your paper dolls, and you'll have um, an armor paper doll ready to go. You know, you can do all kinds of useful things with the character generator, and I just wanted to make a quick video. Someone had posted that they were kind of confused on it, and I guess how it works, so just wanted to explain it. Hope this helps, and uh, you know, have fun making your game, and see you in the next video.